you are everybody and welcome to this live channel today i'm going to be talking about ginger export business in nigeria and the steps in fold nigeria is one of the top producers of exportable ginger um, in the world after china and india um, of which 90% of this production are consumed fresh while the remaining are dried for export. But it is very unfortunate that most of the uh, producers of this commodity in Nigeria find it so difficult to find their way into the international market. So I'm going to be using this video to talk about the step by step on how you can prepare your ginger for international market. Ginger is the irregularly shaped root of the ginger plant. Its botanical name is called Singibar officino. So that is the botanical name of the uh, for ginger, it is one of the hot and highly. Uh, it is one of the hot exportable products that we have in, in Nigeria. You understand? So it is very very profitable. If you know how you can find your way into this, which I'm going to be uh, giving to you right here. Before we move further to the other parts, let's quickly look at why exactly should I prepare for ginger you understand number one is that it has a lot of health benefits this is one of the reasons that made this commodity to be very very profitable and highly demanded in the international market because it has a lot of health benefits you understand especially in the in the country in, in like a uh, european country where this particular product is highly demanded People there are buying it purposely because of this particular uh, health benefit. You understand? Another one is that ginger is very useful in bakery and conventional products. You must have been hearing something like uh, sweet, ginger sweet, ginger biscuits. So ginger is very useful in this area. Another one is that it is very useful in the production of liquids, something like uh, ginger drinks. Personally, um, there is one beer in Jamaica that is produced using of ginger only. They call it ginger beer. So all these things makes this particular commodity to be very, very hot in the international market, like I said. So being a farmer, if you actually know how to package yourself into this line, you are going to see a steady buyer you understand instead of facing the challenges of uh, the local supply here so let us look the step by step on how to go about these things there are actually uh three forms of ginger we have fresh ginger we have dried ginger as well as process of powered and uh, powdered ginger all these things they have uh, their own potentials, you understand, and they have different market targets. For instance, fresh ginger. If you are into production of fresh ginger only, you can target Japan. You understand. And so under that, we categorize as vegetable products. You understand. Now under dried ginger, which is the main area where I'm going to be focusing this video on, you understand. It has a lot of people. You know and it is more profitable in fact 10 percent like i earlier said 10 percent of uh, ginger of all the ginger production are consumed fresh while the remaining are dried mainly for export purpose now if you are into dried ginger there are some things that you need to to know the first thing is where to source for this particular product 
in the sand. Sourcing is very very important. We have to get this in a large quantity. So if you are not farmer, you should know how to do this. But if you are farmer, you should never have problem with this. Then another one is you should also know how to process this thing for export. When we're talking of processing, we're talking about cleaning it in any sense. Because no buyer is going to pay for stone. So therefore, ginger must be well processed and packaged, like remove the dirt, nylon and other things before you are uh, ready for the market. So for the sourcing, actually, ginger can be sourced in the following area in Nigeria, like Kaduna, places like Gobi, Benue, Nasara, Bauchi, and so on. Kaduna is the top producing state of ginger in Nigeria, followed by the rest. So, 70%, 70 to 80 percent of our ginger is coming from that area, or at least 50 percent of it is coming from that area, Kaduna. And you can always have access to it in Kaduna in a very large, I mean, large quantity. So that is it. Once you know actually where to source for this product and processing it, there are some other things that you need to pay your attention to as a ginger exporter. And number one of these is specification of these things. See, most of the people don't know or they don't pay attention to this, which makes them to just uh, lose value in international market. Specification of ginger is very, very compulsory. <clears throat> number one is that you need to get your attention uh, with the moisture. The moisture point is on this. Now, if you are exporting in dry, this thing should not be more than at least, at most rather, 10% maximum. 10% maximum. The oil content also should be 2%. Percent why the impurities also should be two percent. So, all these things they are very, very compulsory. You should know how to do all these things, do the measurements, the test, and everything. So, before you started rushing into ginger, uh, into ginger business. So, another one here is that uh, the packaging. The packaging after being clean and you also know the specification the rest is how you should package your your stuff for export in dry if you are into dry like i said or uh, you can package your ginger in 40 kg bags not bags in 40 kg bags or 50 kg bags so it depends and then so most of the buyer actually prefer the, the the first one which is very easy the 40 kg bags and if you package your ginger in 40 kilogram bags you're going to have at least 20 20 tons in 40 ft full container loading so this is exactly what you are getting in packaging of a uh, ginger So normally it's only bagging, in fact, it's, and this thing you can find it almost everywhere in Nigeria. You know, like I said, it has a lot of benefits. So this thing is very common. If you go to anywhere in Nigeria, you're going to find this uh, particular commodity. And meanwhile, <coughs> if you want to get in large quantity, go to Kaduna. So just go to market in Kaduna. You're going to see them in very, very large quantity. So that is that about ginger for the packaging size it's only packaging 40 kilogram this is uh, this is not like uh, cashew nuts uh, sorry like charcoal that can pack in 10 or 20 kilograms but this is mainly in 40 kilograms and you only have it in like uh, 20 tons in 40 feet uh, full container so that is I don't the next thing now is to know where to actually get buyers 
for your ginger this is where most of the issue is you know the reason why i'm just rushing from that is because all these things they are very simple from knowing the benefits down to packaging most of the farmer who are always asking me the question you already know this so if you are coming into this business or uh, as a newbie you don't have any background experience about ginger before you can ask question uh, below this video and i'm be happy to answer you so if you're a farmer already or you're already trading in ginger in ginger business but you want to expand it into international market then getting buyer uh, is if getting buyer is a major concern uh, i'm going to this it for you now now once you have prepared your cashew, uh, your ginger for export market you should have these people as your major target number one is if you are producing it locally you can target exporters or processors restaurants etc as your buyer what i mean by restaurant is um if i've already into process one then you should have all these people as your target market but if you are like this one on dry that is with ginger you can target exporter locally now in foreign markets we have two types of markets in foreign markets we have major markets as well as minor markets now on the major market we have so these are the major markets now under Europe the European country now <coughs> we have Netherlands these people are the uh, they are the largest importer you understand they are the, they are the largest importers of uh, ginger in the whole world so another one is <coughs> Germany We also have Germany. Then also we have minor markets like Italy, um, France, Denmark, Spain. Then we have US markets. So if you are coming into this business, these are the people that you need to target. You understand? These are your main buyer. You understand? So if you are to be <coughs> making serious profit from exporting ginger, these are your market, especially the Netherlands as well as the Germany. They are the major top player. Uh, I mean the importers in this particular trend. You understand? So why your minor market is Italy? France, Denmark, Spain, as well as the US markets. Now, there is one thing here about these particular uh, countries. This is a major challenge when you are targeting the major market. You always have a very huge competition. When I'm talking about competition, I'm talking about people who have the upper hand <coughs> in the business who have been there before. And here I'm talking about China, talking about Indonesia, talking about Jamaica as well as India. These four countries, they are your competition in ginger export. You understand? These are the people that they are, you are competing with. You understand? So, this is the reason why I always prefer to at least start from the minor market already. Um, in video 3 of export money I talked about market research the market research will actually review these two you understand the major market as well as the minor market so it is always good to start from the minor market at times because there you will have enough resources to face uh, the competition unlike when you are trying to get started with these which people like the, Chine the Chinese, 
India. These people are the top producer of uh, ginger in the whole world. So if I like competing with these people, uh, hundred percent, the the margin here will be very, 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 very low. You understand? So I always prefer going on the uh, minor market, which I've mentioned earlier, like it in, like Denmark. So you can start your marketing from this area, source for buyers here. Then later on, expanding your business. So if you can capture all this area, two or three people for each of this country is even enough for you because you won't be able to fulfill the order every blessed month. This is something that I know very, very well. So that is it. Now, how do you actually find buyers here? There are two ways you can use to find buyers. For any exportable product actually i've mentioned these times without number on this channel number one is you attend what i call a uh, trade show trade show send the sample you understand then through uh nepc chamber of commerce and so on but most of the time all these things they wait time you understand so how many trade shows are you going to be attending before you get a buyer how many samples you understand if like i said all these things work for they take time but if you go to uh export monarch which i'm going to be giving you the link below it explains in detail how to tackle all this nature you understand to, the way you should lay your marketing strategy to get volume buyer in it another one is talking of documents required for ginger commodity number one you will need packing list you will need bill of lading you will need final invoice certificate of origin communication certificate and etc so those are the required documents for uh, ginger export so like i said at times we always have issue processing all these documents or having issue on how to get a uh, buyers i mean within 72 hours without wasting your time your best bet is to download export mona so actually you can get export mona you see this link bit.ly forward slash emc or call any of the following numbers on the screen or WhatsApp me on 0810 664 9536. Bye for now.